Hello and welcome to This Date in History, aka TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred today in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things I personally find intriguing enough for me to bring to you. The source of this information comes from the smart device application on this day. The music in the background is Cannery by Jim Yosef, which I found on the YouTube channel No Copyright Sounds, aka NCS. For links to the app, music, and anything else potentially interesting, check the underbar. Now let's get on with the show, shall we? Today is Tuesday, aka Tuesday, November 15th, 2016. In 2012, Xi Jinping became the General Secretary of the Communist Party of China, and a new seven-member Politburo Standing Committee was inaugurated. In 2007, Cyclone Sidir hit Bangladesh, causing the deaths of an estimated 5,000 people and destroying parts of the Sundarbans, the world's largest mangrove forest. In 2006, Al Jazeera English launched worldwide. In 2002, Hu Jintao became the General Secretary of the Communist Party of China and a new nine-member Politburo Standing Committee was inaugurated. In 2000, Jharkhand State came into existence in India. In 1990, the Communist People's Republic of Bulgaria was disestablished and a new Republican government was instituted. In 1988, the first fair trade label, Max Havelar, was launched in the Netherlands. Also in 1988, during the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, an independent state of Palestine was proclaimed by the Palestinian National Council. Also, also in 1988, in the Soviet Union, the unmanned shuttle Buran made its only space flight. In 1985, a research assistant was injured when a package from the Unabomber addressed to a University of Michigan professor exploded. In 1983, the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus declared independence. However, this action is only recognized by Turkey. In 1979, a package from the Unabomber, Ted Kaczynski, began smoking in the cargo hold of a flight from Chicago to Washington, D.C., forcing the aircraft to make an emergency landing. In 1978, a chartered Douglas DC-8 crashed near Colombo, Sri Lanka, causing the deaths of 183 people. In 1986, René Lavisquieu and the Parti Québécois took power to become the first Quebec government of the 20th century, clearly in favor of independence. In 1971, Intel released the world's first commercial single-chip microprocessor, the 4004. In 1969, during the Vietnam conflict, in Washington, D.C., between 250,000 to 500,000 protesters staged a peaceful demonstration against the conflict including a symbolic march against death. Also in 1969, during the Cold War, the Soviet submarine K-19 collided with the U.S. submarine USS Gato in the Barents Sea. In 1967, the only fatality of the North American X-15 program occurred during the 191st flight when Air Force test pilot Michael J. Adams lost control of his aircraft, which was then destroyed in mid-air over the Mojave Desert. In 1966, during Project Gemini, Gemini 12 completed the program's final mission when it splashed down safely in the Atlantic Ocean. In 1959, the murders of the Clutter family in Holcomb, Kansas occurred, inspiring Truman Capote's nonfiction book, In Cold Blood. In 1955, the first part of the St. Petersburg Metro was opened. In 1951, Greek resistance leader Nikos Biloyanis, along with 11 resistance members, was sentenced to death by the court-martial. In 1949, Nathuram Godse and Narayan Apti were murdered for murdering Mahatma Gandhi. In 1943, during the Holocaust, German SS leader Heinrich Himmler ordered that gypsies, quote, are to be put on the same level as Jews and placed in concentration camps, end quote. In 1942, during World War II, the Battle of Guadalcanal ended in a decisive Allied victory. In 1939, in Washington, D.C., U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt laid the cornerstone of the Jefferson Memorial. In 1933, Thailand had its first election. In 1926, the NBC radio network opened with 24 stations. In 1922, over 1,000 people were murdered during a general strike in Guayaquil, Ecuador. In 1920, the free city of Danzig was established. Also in 1920, the first assembly of the League of Nations was held in Geneva, Switzerland. 
1915, Winston Churchill resigned from his government and soonly after commanded the 6th Battalion of the Royal Scots Fusiliers of the Western Front. In 1914, Harry Turner became the first player to die from game-related injuries in the Ohio League, which was the direct predecessor to the National Football League. In 1889, Brazil was declared a republic by Marshal Diodoro da Fonseca as Emperor Pedro II was deposed in a military coup. In 1864, during the American Civil War, Union General William Tecumseh Sherman burned Atlanta and started Sherman's march to the sea. In 1806, during the Pike Expedition, Lieutenant Zebulon Pike saw a distant mountain peak while near the Colorado foothills of the Rocky Mountains. This landmark was later renamed Pike's Peak. In 1791, the first U.S. Catholic college, Georgetown University, opened its doors. In 1777, during the American Revolutionary War, after 16 months of debate, the Continental Congress approved the Articles of Confederation. In 1533, Francisco Pizarro arrived in Cusco, the capital of the Inca Empire. In 1532, commanded by Francisco Pizarro, Spanish conquistadors under Hernando de Soto met Inca Empire leader Atta. Hualpa for the first time outside Cajamarca and arranged a meeting on the city plaza the following day. First, Titsock, 1964, Randy Mario Pofo, 1952, Erwin Rommel, 1891. And that concludes the show. Once again, you can check the underbar for any links you may be interested in. Don't forget to look right and left at every intersection. You can also write five thumbs and subscribe if you do so, please. For your dose of Passive Events Daily, I am Xander, and you are you. Toodles! In 1889, Brazil was declared a republic by Marshal Diodoro da Fonseca as Emperor Pedro...